I'm too important for excuses. There are a lot of reasons not to do something. There's a lot of reasons not to be here today. There's a lot of reasons not to work on your business. There's a lot of reasons not to listen to the wake up call, but there's a lot more reasons to do that. There's a lot more reasons to honor your potential. There's a lot more reasons to be successful. Go ahead. When I uh, started this little speaking deal, I said to my husband, you know, I don't want to be an average speaker. If I'm going to be a speaker, I want to be the best speaker that I can be. And in order to do that, I want to train with the best. When you feel that way, right? You want to be the best at your business, the best at your life. So if you're going to train with the best, you need to find the best, and then you need to be with the best. So I said, there's this guy, Brian Tracy, Shalene talks about him all the time. He's got a speaking academy. And I want to go to his speaking academy. So I looked online and I had to send a video and I had to read some stuff and, and I sent it in and he accepted 13 people across the country and I happened to be one of them. And I called my husband and I said, I got accepted to Brian Tracy's Speaker Academy. Because you know, you always start with the good news, right? If I teach you nothing. And then he said, that's so great. And I said, it's $10,000. <laughs> I, you know how I told you I am about stuff? I didn't even look at that. He could be, you know, my money manager, husband goes, I mean, wouldn't that have been something you looked at first? My God. I said, well, you would think, yes, you would. Um, I said, but I don't have to go. I mean, I just got accepted, and it doesn't mean I have to go. And so, now, I've not made a dime on this. And I don't know if I'm going to make any money being a speaker. I have not done any gigs yet. And so I said, you know, let me just, let me just think about this. And, you know, it's a responsibility to my family, my kids' college funds, all the things that we've worked for, for me to take $10,000, right? And so I hung up and I thought, you know what, I, I, don't, I don't know if I should do this. And then you start thinking about the trade-off for excuses. The trade-off is, I don't take a chance on becoming the best. I try to do it on my own. Or I make the leap and go for it and think that I'll make the $10,000 up because I'm training with the best. In the meantime, my husband called me back and he said, you have to do it, you have to do it. So I got a lot of points on my credit card because <laughs> I charged it. I said, I'm just gonna charge it and I'll figure it out. I made it back tenfold because of Brian Tracy. My business is where it is today as a speaker. It's the most valuable thing I've ever done for my speaking career is go to that. Thank God I was bigger than my excuses. Thank God I was bigger than my excuses. So what is holding you back? What excuse you're saying? I, I can't, I, I mean, when people say to me, Shakeology is too expensive, it's like, oh, why are you not bigger than your excuses? I know so many people who figure it out who have much less of an income coming in than you. Stop with the excuses. It's just not important to you to drink something healthy every day. Okay, let's just call a spade a spade. So think about those things for you that are in your life where you say, I should probably do that. Why? Because you know who you are and you believe in yourself and you know you get it back. Excuses are a reason to survive rather than thrive. And we're all about thriving. Thriving is growth. Go ahead, Kate. When you think about all the reasons to do or not to do things, I'm telling you right now that good things happen to good people, and guess what else? Bad things happen to good people. We all have problems, you guys, I've got problems. Bad things happen to me. It's just a matter of saying, well, that's a problem, I gotta solve it, and we know that. But bad things happen to good people, they do. If you expect that just because you're a vegetarian, a bull's not gonna charge you, it will. They don't care, they don't care. So you have to think to yourself, this is part of life. This is part of life, all right? 